Hi, and welcome to Children's Message. We're so glad that you're here today. We're in this se the season of Epiphany, where we're talking about new beginnings and learning about God. Before we get to our new story, let's remember last week we had Samuel and Eli, and we were learning about how important it was to listen for God's message for us. So this week, we have Jonah, who ends up being swallowed by a really big fish because he does not want to help um, the people of Nineveh, who God is threatening to destroy because of all the things that they are doing wrong. So let's see what happens in our story. Let's turn in our world story Bible to Jonah 3, 1 through 5 and verse 10, and it reads as follows. Jonah was a prophet, but he didn't feel like God's messenger. As he crawled up the beach, he felt slimy and smelled like fish. Jonah, God's voice boomed. Go, tell the people of Nineveh, I'm angry at the way they are living. Jonah groaned. God had asked him to do this before, but Jonah was not sure the people would listen. He tried to run away, but God had him swallowed by a big fish. The fish spit him out here on the sandy beach where God spoke to him again. Jonah covered his ears, but he could still hear God. Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah brushed off the sticky sand, running away again wouldn't work. He didn't want to go, but he needed to do what God asked him. He dragged himself to Nineveh. Jonah stomped into the city, shouting, In 40 days, God will destroy you. There, he did it. Now God would leave him alone. But the people of Nineveh surprised Jonah. They listened to God's message. We are sorry, they prayed to God. Give us another chance. We will change the way we're living. God saw what they did. God did not destroy Nineveh. So let's see what happens in our story today. So we have Jonah. And he's on a beach. And God's telling him to go to Nineveh because these people are doing things that God doesn't like and God is going to destroy them, but he wants to give them a second chance. So he wants to send Jonah over here to tell them to change their ways so that they have a chance to change. But Jonah doesn't do that. He runs in the opposite direction. In fact, when he runs away, he gets on a boat. And because he's not listening to God, he ends up out of the boat into the bottom of the ocean. But God's not done with him yet. He doesn't let him die at that point. A big fish swallows him and spits him out onto the sandy beach. And it's at that point that God again speaks to Jonah and says to him, Go, go to Nineveh and tell them to repent. Go tell them to change their ways. And so finally even though he really doesn't want to, he goes over to Nineveh and tells them to repent, to change their ways, or God is going to destroy them. And sure enough, they actually change. And even though Jonah was reluctant the whole way, God used him to help this city to change and to follow God in a new way. Isn't that an amazing story? Even God could use Jonah, who was super reluctant and didn't want to follow God. He could even use him to do wonderful things. And I don't know about you, but I'm human, and I've been in situations where I didn't really want to do the right thing or where the right thing was really hard to do. Or maybe sometimes we think that we know what God wants us to do, but we're not sure that we want to follow it, just like what, what Jonah felt. But God still gives us many chances, even in our reluctance, even when we don't want to follow him. He gives us many chances to turn around and, and do the right thing. And even really wonderful things can happen, just like in Nineveh. So before we end, let's put our hands together and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us, even when we're reluctant. Please forgive us when we don't want to follow you and give us Give us the ability to change our ways so that we can follow you to do the good things that you want us to do. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.